would like to open the series of traveling in Turkey from the main place and the largest city in the country, Istanbul. Today we will do a walking tour with a distance of 5 kilometers, visiting major tourist attractions on foot. We start at Taksim Square, a major tourist district, which is considered the heart of modern Istanbul, and it's also a convenient transportation hub to roam anywhere around the city. There is a direct bus shuttle every half an hour from any airport to the square, so I booked a cozy Airbnb apartment here nearby as well. Istiklal Avenue starts at Taksim Square and runs for one and a half kilometers to Galata, a medieval Genoese quarter. It's a pedestrian street and one of the most famous avenues in Istanbul, with lots of cafes, restaurants, shops, art galleries, cinemas, nightclubs with live music, hotels, and even a branch of Madame Tussauds, where I didn't go. During the Ottoman period, the avenue was called Grand Avenue. It attracted an intellectual crowd and later became the place to stroll with the Italian and French Levantines. The avenue forms a spine with the narrow side streets running off it like a rib cage. Many historical and politically significant buildings are adjacent to Istiklal Avenue. It is the beating heart of the city with the three million people passing it every day. Istiklal Avenue adds up at Galata Tower, which is considered one of the oldest towers in the world and the symbol of Istanbul. Originally, it was built by Byzantines in the 6th century AD, with Genoese rebuilt in the 14th century. It was the highest point of 63 meters high, from where you can enjoy the panoramic views of the city. Istanbul, like Rome, was built on the seven hills. When you're exploring the city on foot, which is the best way, get ready to be challenged with rather steep slopes to reach your destination. Galata Bridge is a 490-meter-long bridge that spans the Golden Horn. It's an important part of the urban landscape in Istanbul, and it provides both a real and symbolic link between two key parts of the city. On the top level, there are hundreds of fishermen stack out a spot along the bridge at dusk, hanging their multi-hooked lines over the edge, competing for the fish below. Underneath restaurants and cafes are serving freshly caught fish and other typical Turkish dishes all day at night. In case if you feel tired, there is an efficient public transportation as tram along the bridge that we are going to take on the way back to Taksim. Galata Bridge is where the locals hit. They eat cheap food, smoke pipes, catch the ferry boats and enjoy a day out with their families. It's a great opportunity to watch true Turkish life in a big city. Just around the corner from Galata Bridge, there is an Egyptian market or Spice Bazaar, which is one of the oldest markets in Istanbul, 
And one of the best places to buy typical products such as spices, sweets or nuts. The market was constructed in the mid-17th century as a part of new mosque, with rent from the shop supporting the upkeep of the mosque, as well as its charitable activities, which included a school, hammam, and a hospital. The market's name references the fact that the building was initially endowed with taxes, levied on goods imported from Egypt. In its heyday, the bazaar was the last stop for the camel caravans that traveled the Silk Road from China, India and Persia. Today, Egyptian Spice Bazaar consists of a series of covered streets, featuring hundred shops selling caviar, dry herbs, honey, nuts and dry fruits. Hagia Sophia was a Greek Orthodox Church from the 4th century AD until the conquest of Constantinople by the Ottoman Empire in the 15th century. It served as a mosque until 1935 when it became a museum. In 2020, the site once again became a mosque. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.